Burnley Stadium and the 66th Cup Final. Charlton Athletic in white shirts and Burnley kick off. Football critics prophesied a battle of the defences and that's the way it turned out. Burnley's half-back line, with skipper Alan Brown outstanding, holds fast against all Charlton's attacks. Now watch Burnley's Jackie Chu, number seven, break away. But left-back Shreve, number three, is there to tackle him. The ball goes upfield to Chris Duffy, number 11, Charlton outside left. And here he is in a neat little ballet number with Burnley back Arthur Woodruff. But Charlton are pressing hard. Watch Burnley goalkeeper Strong in this spectacular head-on picture taken from the other end of the field. This is Charlton's fourth Wembley appearance in five years. Twelve months ago, the first peacetime final saw them lose to Derby County. So Charlton are not suffering from any Wembley nerves. Five of their boys were here last year. Duffy has the ball again. He passes to Don Welsh, number 10. He shoots, but Strong is there to save. The second half, and both teams put on the pressure. But the defences are still way on top. Billy Morris, number eight, has a bang at goal, but Sam Bartram is safe. And now the Charlton attack is off again. Hurst, number seven, has the ball, but Burnley get it away. And again, it's goalkeeper Bartram, this time with a save from Burnley's Harrison. The Lancashire forwards just couldn't get the ball past the Charlton keeper. No score after 90 minutes, extra time is played. Last year at the Charlton Derby final, the same thing happened. An hour and a half of grueling, fast-moving football in brilliant sunshine has taken it out of the players. Duffy still has plenty of energy, but this time Woodruff beats the winger to it. Second half of extra time and still no score. It looks like a replay with only four minutes to go. Now the ball is in the Burnley half. There's a goal mouth scramble for the ball. Duffy gets to it and slams it into the goal. <laughs> Slow motion sees the cannonball goal this way. And that was the end. A 1-0 victory snatched in the last few minutes of extra time gives the cup to Charlton Athletic. Welsh gets the trophy from the Duke of Gloucester. With Bartram carrying the plinth, the London team follow their leader. Not so long ago, they were in the third division. They made headlines in a two-season climb into Division One. Now they've notched one more club record by winning their first FA Cup. And that's the way it went at this year's cup final.